Hello, body of Christ. Um, today is September the 5th, 2016. I come today briefly to share a dream that I had about three or four days ago. Um, it was very brief. Um, I dreamed that I was uh, in the car headed to the store and I looked in the sky and saw a huge clock in the sky. This clock was as big as a planet. It was so big. Well, this clock also was not a clock that I've ever seen before in my life. It was ancient looking. It, it, everything about this clock was ancient. It had a handle on this clock like, um, like those old kerosene lamps that would, uh, uh, light of flu I mean um, kerosene in it um, the handle on it was like like something like that and the clock you know it was a it was a huge round clock but it had a handle on it and um, there were numbers on the clock but there was no hands the hour hand and the minute hand um, was not on the clock and that was my dream when I woke up from this dream and I you know waited for the Holy Spirit to give me meaning to this dream it means that there's no more time that's why the hands was not on the clock time is over there's no more time we are getting ready to be evacuated I pray that you're all ready. Your garments are white without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. And I pray that you're living holy and righteous because that's the only way your garments are going to be white is living holy and righteous before the Lord. There is no more time to play games. There is no more time to slip into sin. Now is the time. You have to turn from sin now. Repent and turn from sin it is so urgent that everyone turn from sin. Jesus is here and he's getting ready to evacuate us. We are getting ready to leave. He's coming to close the door. I pray that each and every person that hears my voice knows that the Lord is crying out that all for all his sheep to come to him. He said his sheep, my sheep know my voice. That's what he said in his word. So if you know that the Lord is calling you and you're not living right or you're not saved, give your life to him today while you still have a chance. Warning comes before destruction. So I urge you today to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Romans 10, 9 says that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus died and rose again on the third day, God rose him on the third day, that you'll be saved. So that's what you have to do to be saved, is to believe it in your heart. Accept the Lord as your Savior in your heart. Confess it with your mouth that the Lord died for you and rose again on the third day. That's all you have to do to be saved. And then you turn from sin and sin no more. If you fall into sin, you have an advocate with the Father, and He is faithful and just to forgive you from all unrighteousness. So you ask for forgiveness, confess your sins, and ask for forgiveness, and turn from sin. For those who have not accepted the Lord as your Savior, just say these words. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus, your Son who died for me. You raised Him from the dead for me. I accept him as my Lord and Savior. I confess him as my Lord. 
I renounce the devil and all the hosts of hell. Therefore, I'm a new creature, alive in you. I lift my hands and I worship you in the name of Jesus. You, if you said that prayer and you confess that you're a sinner, you're saved. I just want to say that the Lord is getting ready to take his bride and my heart aches for every person who has denied him or who refused to accept him please turn from sin because there is no more time I love you body of Christ see you soon we are so out of here see you soon I can't wait to hug each and every one of you see you at the marriage supper of the lamb god bless